Jesus died not just on the cross for our sins and to um, help us with healing, but he also died in order to free us from poverty, debt, and lack. God does not want his people to go without. He wants us all to live in abundance and to prosper so that we are able to help others in need. The Bible says to feed the hungry, help the poor, and to take care of the orphan and the widows. And we cannot do this if we are living in a place of lack. God lives by spiritual principles, and one of those principles is sowing and reaping. 2 Corinthians 9, 6 says, Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will reap generously. There's nothing wrong with wanting to have abundance in our lives for ourselves and for our families, but giving to God, this is one of his spiritual principles. I have come from a place of lack myself. I was actually on disability for 17 years, and at the time I was in a committed relationship, and I was financially secure through him, but it wasn't a healthy relationship. I was sick enough that I was not able to work. I could not take care of myself. I always thought that this is going to be my life. I'm going to have to rely on somebody else to take care of me. Otherwise, I would spend my life broke and in poverty. When I started attending believers, I, started to, I committed myself to tithing and to giving to the building fund. I didn't know that I was actually sowing for my future. Because of my faithfulness to God, he helped me get out of that unhealthy relationship, and he got me into my own place. Get this, rent-free. Yeah, and it's been going on three years, and I'm still living rent-free. He's not only given me the best jobs along the way, yeah, <laughs> he's also got me off from disability. Yeah. And as a side note, the life-saving medications that I was on, I haven't been on them for almost a year and a half. Yeah. Yes. He doesn't just provide for my every needs. He doesn't just pay my bills and then say, see you next month, Mindy. He gives me an abundance so that also the things that I want, that he takes care of those. I do not go without. He has made it possible not only to have a savings account with money in it, but I just signed up to start investing money. So I'm super excited about that. I always thought that I was going to have to rely on somebody to take care of me in order to have a financially fruitful life. And then I realized I do. It's just not a human that I have to rely on. I have to rely on him. Yeah. Everything that I am today and everything that I have is all because of him. So we can either choose to live like a flowing river or we can choose to live like the Dead Sea. In order to stay in the abundant flow of God, we cannot let those blessings stop with us. We have to continue to let it flow through us. I still make it a priority to give back to God and to give to others when he instructs me to because I don't want those blessings to end with me. God's spiritual principle of sowing and reaping says, sow generously, reap generously. I want to encourage everybody to make 2021 the year that you courageously trust God because I know that if he can do this in my life, he can do it in yours as well. Amen.